<laughs> hey y'all, this is Queen of Pentacles, Sarah 333. <clears throat> it's Queen of Pentacles, Sarah 333. Let's read. Good morning. It's 2.17 a.m. Right now. So let's read. Good morning. Oh, wow. Well, first card I got here is the King of Swords. Sometimes there's a person right here. This person wants to speak to you or something like that. But they want to express how they feel. They're very adamant. Okay. All right. The reason why, I mean, they want to talk to you is say they say because they love you. All right. But... Um, let me see what's wrong with them though, because it's showing up as like, all right, let me look at this person. Who is this? King of Swords in reverse. I mean, King of Swords upright. King of Cups. It's another person here. I want to say this person got an offer for you. Wow. Wow. Wait, I want to say more than one person want to speak to somebody here. Okay. I guess it's pretty safe feelings here. Yeah. That's weird. <laughs> I pulled like four people at a time. Let's keep going. Because I'm seeing some like kind of love message here. That's for somebody. Okay. Let's keep going though. I feel like at this time here, um, for some of y'all, I see some money coming to you, but I feel like money could be coming in slow. And I feel like at this time here, somebody moving on up to stardom or something like that. Man, you got a lot of love coming in. Apologies, too. Um, new love and apologies. <laughs> Two of Cups. I feel like somebody going to meet true love. That's what I feel. And man or woman, I feel like some of y'all holding back from people and they're going crazy. And look at that, another person, all these men, man or woman, I'm getting a lot of male energy here, a bunch of it. And then I'm getting somebody wearing my money too and disappointed. I'm getting you trying to save some money and everything. Somebody could be going out of town. I'm getting your wishes coming true and everything like that here. Yeah. I feel like somebody could be like um, in a in an energy where they waking up in the middle of the night or something. Okay, Darn. okay. I feel like in this time here, somebody around you had fake people they were listening to about you or something, or fake people they were dealing with. A bunch of fake people, and they having a tower moment now, and they confused and they don't know what happened. I feel like somebody wanted to take you back and forth for do you dirty or something, but. By me seeing all them um, apologies, man, it's almost look like somebody big or something. And then I feel like half of these folks that's begging you is blocked. Um, they got a heavy burden on them. Um, I feel like somebody thought they had all the options in the world, and then they found out they didn't. Um, I feel like at this time here you manifested and everything like that. Let me see. I feel like you carry all the burdens on your own bed. That's what I feel. I feel like it is time here somebody frustrated a little bit. Okay. You get a new beginning, but I feel like it could be like a burden on you a little bit. Let me see. Um, the King of Swords up here. Let me see. Um, I feel like you were taking your chances and everything and doing what you need to do. Let me see. Um, oh wait, I feel like it is time here. I'm seeing a magician and a doggone devil and an ace of pentacles. Man, somebody feel like they trapped or stuck or something in a situation um, real bad. You got a burden on them and everything. You got a court issue coming up. Um, really do. And then this King of Swords. Okay, I kept hearing my ear ring, in my ears ringing and stuff like that. Yeah, somebody said they're having a time moment. They feel bad. Yeah, they do. Okay, somebody could be playing in your energy to him. And somebody looking at you like they don't know what's wrong with you either. 
maybe you ain't acting right. The two of cups, that's true love and everything. Ace of cups, that's the beginning in love. Ace of wands, um, that's like a new beginning in business. Um, some kind of new beginning. Okay, let me see who this back and forth is. Waiting on somebody to turn their back on you, or they turn their back on you, or you turn your back on them one. The high fan. I know they tired of the same old story too, but it's a lot of people here, and a lot of people want to apologize to you. Um, I feel like somebody could have ignored you though. Then I feel like they're coming out real like loving this week and everything, but mm -mm, because. I mean, sometimes I be saying uh-uh because, I mean, just that's what some people know. <laughs> Three of Cups. This show ain't no third party and it ain't no party for this person at all. But you could be going to a get-together and everything. Oh, somebody said they need your good luck. Somebody said they need your good luck, for real. They need your blessing or your good luck. Okay. And then... Man, did somebody take you on a roller coaster? Some kind of roller coaster. Arrogance. Somebody think they're real important or something. But you made them feel like they're not. Maybe they was arrogant. Okay, the ladder you go up, it's the, la it's the ladder that you may come down. Okay, be humble. Right. I feel like it is time here somebody got to recognize and they do got to humble themselves because they in some kind of bad situation. You know, you know, sometimes if you feeling like really arrogant and up, sometimes spirit will, will humble you down. Yeah, this is a person having massive regrets here, bumping their head. I guess about going back and forth with you. Uh, yeah, you teaching them. They te they being taught a lot, a hard lesson. Yeah, yeah. You could be getting an urgent phone call. Here, bad news. Um. Oh man, this person real stressed out. That's it. Here. I guess they played a lot of games. Looks like it. Family support, they don't got none. They ain't got no family support or nothing like that. They ain't got nobody. Maybe that's why they being humble. And they worry about that too. And they worry about money. And I heard they worry about food. Yep, yeah, could be worried about food. Good Lord, or something. I mean, let me see. I feel like you could have talked to this person and everything like that here. Gave them a good word, a prophetic message or something like that. Because this person acted like they need a prayer. What they do? They miss you. That's what I'm seeing because y'all look like y'all was real close right there. The educator. They don't want to hear nothing. Yeah, pop the question. Somebody forget to get a uh, proposal. Rings. Straight up. Cause somebody having massive regrets about not taking you serious or something here, and they want to pop the question to you. Uh, a blind female. Wow, somebody messed up something up. I guess. Yeah. Somebody paid attention to the wrong things here, and it was a recipe for a disaster. And I keep seeing some kind of lesson, and they got tricked. Graveyard, I feel like this person must have been under some kind of spell, or they feel like you put them under a spell. Are they crazy about you? A karmic lesson. Mm -hmm. Now nah, somebody did put them under a spell. <laughs> oh, that poor person. Oh my God. Let me get some messages. I heard you winning. I heard you winning. I got the Ace of Pentacles, the Magician, and you manifested money. Could have been dealing with some kind of narcissist, you know. I feel like there was a lot of confusion and somebody thought that they could have anything that they want here. They need a DNA test right now. Because that baby ain't his. Oh, boy, man or woman. But I feel like it's a man. Yeah, it's a man. 
Oh, man, y'all know what I feel? I feel like there was some man here that was in love with somebody and gave someone a proposal and everything like that here. But I feel like this person could have ignored you or acted like it wasn't important or something like that. And if they did that, I feel like they chose another person. But I feel like for some reason, them and the other person, they arguing and they fighting. And this person was like, you know, I ain't really want you no way. And this is somebody who they was um, married to or who they gave like some kind of commitment to and who they was crazy about. They feel all messed up right now because they did get bad news because for some for somebody this person here is um a man and a person that they were dealing with they had a kid with them or children or something like that and then they was real crazy about the child really loved this kid and then they went and took a dna test or some or I only feel like this person took a DNA test. I feel like they just called, yeah, they just called um, this person that they thought was way more important to you. And when they called them, the person told them because they wouldn't do what they wanted them to do. Like give them something, do something for them, or they just wasn't interested in your person. So they called them and it was like, you know what? My child ain't yours anyway. You took her. You've been taking care of this kid. This kid ain't yours anyway. Okay? That is crazy. So this person trying to find a way to get back to you, but I feel like this person treated you real bad, though. Here with the three of cups. And they was confused. And I feel like this other person right here really needed your person, so they did a little spell work and everything like that to keep your person confused or make your person crazy or make your person where they don't understand really what was going on but what's going on this person right here feel like a um this is the card i got a jackass a jackass and i feel like they messed up and spent a lot of money on this person too prophetic message i feel like you was one of the people who called this person out and said something about the baby ain't yours or something like that anyway and they ain't believe you and then I feel like they did some rude stuff to you and everything like that here. And when they did that, um, they got tricked by this other person. They said they were bumping heads. <laughs> I mean, it ain't funny, but okay, I got Leo, Libra, I got Pisces, and I got Aquarius. For real. Either you can be that sign or the other person can be. All right. I got the Ten of Cups. This made this person think about how much they was in love with you, all right? Self-aware. But I feel like you was aware of it here. Tapping into your higher self, questioning um, your routine and your patterns. Wow. Four ones. So I feel like something ain't go that way at all. Let me look at this. Yeah. <clears throat> I said, <clears throat> there's somebody who... This somebody story. It ain't everybody's story. Okay, this person want to talk to you, but I feel like for some for some of y'all, I feel like you're comfortable and everything like that. That's what I feel. Y'all heard it before. Let me see. And um, I feel like for some reason this person is looking at you like, oh my god, you stable and everything like that. You the new beginning. You manifesting here and you resting. All right, it's almost like you at peace. Maybe that's the bad news. Maybe the bad news is that you at peace. And yeah, yeah, because I see you manifesting and resting with the Ace of Pentacles here, and somebody feeling like something ain't going their way. Anyway, so that's what you look like right there, man or woman. Let me see. Earth, what you see is what you get. What do I mean by that? Yeah. I feel like you was looking at this person like, you know, I don't know what's wrong with this person. You notice how this person is. 
Um, and um, what you see is what you get. Three of Cups. A beauty queen. Yeah. No. I feel like at this time here, this person could be upset a little bit, though. Because they think that everything's supposed to go their way. Like they can mess up, come back, and everything like that. Deal with this other person who said something about the baby ain't, you know, ain't your baby anyway. And then they thought they were going to come back and apologize to be all charming and sweet. But I feel like, no. I feel like you could have turned this person around because they were messy and manipulative. All right. All right. I feel like at this time here, hmm, you got some kind of enlightenment. And I feel like you know the truth and everything like that with the spiritual connection. All right? Because you was using your common sense. Okay? I feel like where you are right now is where you not really want to be. Like, kind of like, um, you got some improvements to make? A bunch of them. Okay? Okay, so I feel like at this time you're getting there, though. Okay? That's what I feel. Especially with this Ace of Pentacles and the ma Magician manifesting. And a son. So you can be happy and just going by life and taking your chances to do what you need to do. Okay. Um, I feel like you're really smart. Okay. Um, let me see what else. Let me pull another card. Dang. What a card I got right here is by Felicia. By Felicia, so you could be telling somebody to go on. Go away, you're tired, you're resting, and you're at peace. I feel like that's somebody's worst nightmare, that you're at peace. I'm for real. Pro person. Somebody saying, like, I'm at peace, and you really don't need nobody or whatever, or you just at peace. All right. Yeah. I feel like at this time, you could be going on trips, too. Happiness, a lot of it. Wow, that's what I'm seeing. Um, that's what I'm seeing. Happiness in the sun, magician, spiritual seeker, and new romance. Yep, you at peace. <laughs> that's what I'm feeling. All right. Yeah, I feel like you laid back. It ain't nothing really going on. You know what? When I was in the bed a few minutes ago, I said, I feel like ain't nothing really going on for a lot of y'all. For some of y'all. So we got the wildflower. So yeah, you could be enjoying yourself and everything like that. Because sometimes I look at this and somebody sitting at the club. Even though this person looks like they're sitting in the club and they bored. Travel. Somebody could be at a distance then. They're in swinging love hate. I feel like you had a love hate um situation with somebody here and they're looking for a side hustle because they're trying to get more money and they need a job. What's up with these people? I miss you. They had the bar talking about how they miss you. Man or woman, they could be at the bar. If this person ain't around you, they at the bar talking about how they miss you and everything like that. And people tired of hearing about, about you. They don't want to hear it. I'm for real. I see this person sitting at a buddy with like two or three friends or more. They all buddies and everything like that here. This person talking about how they love you and everything. And then somebody just told them to hush and shut up. And they don't want to hear it. They're supposed to be enjoying themselves. And they talking to the bartender too. <laughs> About you, man or woman. I feel like you're real strong, you're real happy and everything like that. But this person right here waiting on contact with you. Divine feminine, a bartender. <laughs> somebody talking about they miss I'm serious, I miss you. I miss you. All right. Um, you fulfilling your destiny and everything like that. You worried about yourself. That's what I feel for some people, not for everybody. Because I know some of y'all got like new love on the way. 
and a new beginning, and you're thinking about your business, hold on. Somebody whined it, though, by Felicia. Because they tell me I can't stay away from you that long, long. And let's see what else this person doing. Somebody was tired of the back and forth that they was going through this problem. Yeah. They say, I promise I'm so self-conscious, but I feel like low self-esteem. I feel like this person is self-conscious. I feel like this person is stressed out a lot and they're wondering what they did. And But I feel like this person was, you know, oh, wow. Can we get a room? This person want to see you. They talking about, you know, can they get a room? Can they take you somewhere? Can they take you out on a date? Wait a minute. Yeah, moving close. Wants to live with you. You might get some kind of pop-up visit. I'm going to be honest. Pop-up visit. Yeah, honey. Um, That ain't for everybody, though. Happiness. <coughs> they say you care about more about everybody else. Friends first, so you're not interested. You may not be interested here, but they flex it. And they're telling people that everything is okay and they still got a chance for you. Somebody did, somebody is. Because they're trying to keep up with an image and that's what they're trying to make people believe. Like, nah, we cool. But I feel like somebody here ain't cool. Yeah, because this person worried about what other people think. Because she can't drop out of college. Because her family going to look at her family. Funny. But this person worried about what other people think. There's no replacing what we have. I mean, I can't replace you. Because I feel like somebody will try to take you on a merry-go-round. Going back and forth with you a little bit. Because I see that Nine of Swords energy. I feel like there's somebody who just couldn't make up their mind and now they're sitting in line telling people that um they're still with you, but you're on the east side or the west side or some side or you on somebody else's side. <laughs> That's what it is. But anyway, let me keep going. Bumping his love, hate. Oh my God. There's too much back and forth going on here. So Thomas, can we get a room with a three of cups? Cause I feel like at this time here, this person has secrets and everything like that here. But it's weird though. Cause they had secrets with the, they could jeopardize you or something. With the three of cups, with other people. I saw a broken heart. So, I feel like you did true love here. By Felicia, they could be dumping somebody in, but happy. Even though this person happy with you and everything like that here, they messed up their whole life. Because I feel like because you at peace and you comfortable. You going out of town and everything like that, you got a new beginning. I feel like, no, you dating. Or you just enjoying yourself. That's what I feel. I mean, let me look at this, though, because somebody did something crazy here. Somebody was manipulating energy. Somebody was manipulating energy here. I'm being honest, they used using graveyard dirt. And it was a recipe for disaster. Uh, to affect you some kind of way. And I know because they got all these vials and vases and all that sitting here. And they celebrate it. You know, trying to mess up something for you. But instead, I don't feel like it messed up anything for you. Because this is giving me longevity. All right? And, um, you know, it's so weird. I feel like this person went to the store, to the vendor right here. And was given something like um 
something to work for them or whatever, but because they, cause they wanted something they way with this person. But it didn't work because they bumping heads over there and they fighting. So, oh, something backfired then. A recipe for disaster. Something backfired. This person all in their head. They wonder how they messed up and everything. It messed up so bad to the point where this person started fighting with the other person and then they had to be honest. And they're looking at themselves like, oh my God, I messed up. I really messed up. Yeah, because they said this person was selfish. They wanted things their way and everything like that. But whatever kind of spirit it is that backfired, they was like, bye, Felicia. So it caused an ending over there. So this person, the way they're looking at their phone, having massive regrets, they look like they're seriously mad at this other person over there. All right, they're going through a time moment and everything like that, hiding from you. I hate her. I don't feel like I, I hate her hiding from you at all. I feel like you knew all about it. It was news, you knew all about it. Cause something here started, like you felt the energy that this person was manipulating, okay? All right, cause they were trying to trap you in a situation or whatever, cause they were jealous of you. Man or woman. So, um, <coughs> a hater is hiding from you. That's what it's telling me. I said, I don't feel like a hater hiding from you. Spirit keeps saying a hater is hiding from you. All right. It said, I felt like you was hiding something, but I didn't want to complain. So somebody found out something, okay? All right. This person looking at money and everything like that. Something about a condo or apartment. Keep it between me and you. What are they talking about? People are starting to see this person for who they are. So, I feel like this person could be arguing and everything. They're having a time moment. Pop the question. They want to talk to you and talk about how they want to marry you or they knew you was the one or whatever. A blonde female, a brunette female. <laughs> you tapped in here. Um, Pop the question. Wait a minute. How they stay faithful in a room full of hoes? So, this person did something crazy, which caused an ending here for they sell. And um, I feel like whatever they did, they really messed up. Massive regrets, jackass. Yeah. Okay. For some reason, they wanted to play a lot of games with you, but you knew it. Yeah, I did say that you knew something. You was tapped in and everything like that here. Somebody was manipulating energy. Straight up. They want to talk to you. They really do. Yeah. And um they they really crying or something. Hold on. They really missing you too. All right. Let me see what about this situation that backfired. Everything is your fault. For some reason, somebody think that something is your fault. They think that you um caused a tower moment for them, but they manipulated energy because something went all wrong here. And the way they manipulated this energy to hurt you, it bent first so quick. Now they blaming you. How? I don't know why would they blame you because I feel like you ain't got nothing to do with this. See, the ending that they wanted to the, the, um, cause for you, they cause for themselves. Because you resting and you comfortable. They disappointed because, you know, you ain't going through nothing. For some reason, they know that, um, I guess you just fine. You look like this fool card right here. Like you just taking your chances of doing what you want to do. But something was about money. And that's why they manipulated the energy. 
Somebody was sad about money here. Real sad. They're going broke and they're going through a turn moment. Something about this magic messed up. They messed up something real bad. Okay. And I feel like you decided they complaining. Because they got like a, they're having a hard time. And they stressed out. I guess because they did too much. Because it seemed like, for some reason, I know that this person was like really mean or acted real crazy towards you or whatever here. And they thought that they, you know, had everything figured out. Okay, now they're going crazy because you know the truth about them. And the communication is real bad. And they can't find new love and they can't find nothing like love nowhere. And they see that you're just fine. Some of y'all dating. Some of y'all getting a lot of attention. They all on the phone to us. This bad news. Real bad news. Let me see this bad news. Because somebody tripping over here. Because something changed. I mean, because see, now why how can they blame you when they messed up? You know, because I saw somebody with graveyard dirt. I'm not lying. I saw that. And um, I really, do. yeah, high priestess. This person, probably, yeah, they feel like they had everything under control. They really reckon they brain about how they messed up. Messed up. So, which made them have to tell the truth because the other person was flipping out on them. And everything like that. That's what I feel. They did something wrong. Conflict, look. <laughs> oh my gosh. See how they arguing? They arguing real bad. They arguing real bad. They stay karma and everything. Something just blew up in their face. I mean, man, be careful because I do feel like somebody could want to confront somebody here. Cause remember I said they, did, they wanted to talk to you. They spying on you. They watching you. They going through karma. Everybody ignoring them and everything like that here. They rushing back over there towards you because they were like, oh my God, that's bad news. You know, because especially when they had that argument with that other person here that they were trying to treat you bad for. The pet, yeah. <laughs> um, weird. All these folks work together to put graveyard dirt on you. They had it backfired. And now the person over there flipping out on them, talking junk to them and everything. This person was weak. They feel like they was tricked and everything like that. Because something blowed up in their face. For real, they thinking about money and they said, for real. It's like they fumbled a big bag of money. And um, I feel like you're doing you and you comfortable. You sitting in your own energy and everything like that. And you ain't stressed out or nothing. <laughs> She, so, what are they doing? Bad news. The communication. What are they doing? They got in trouble or something. Okay? And somebody want to speak to you. They do. The person who did a spell on you and everything that was trying to, um, you know, mess your life up. They want to speak to you. They feel so stupid. Like a jackass or something. Um... I feel like you're going to be like, that ain't my business and I want it. Yeah. Look at this jealousy. Five of Wands. Because somebody was jealous of you or something like that here. And somebody wanted to choose for somebody else. Because there was a mother figure here and all, all kind of folks here. All right. And it looked like you just don't want to ask them nothing. But, you know, you remember it's friends first and other people first too. And, I mean, they, they chose the... Queen of Swords. Oh my God, they're getting ignored by you. <laughs> Bad. And, um, you know, they're getting ignored by all, everybody, the other lovers and everything, because somebody, it was bad news. I'm serious. And then, man or woman, but some man even got a phone call and everything, and the, the person was telling the other person, well, my baby ain't chosen anyway, just leave me alone. You know? And they were like, what? You know, because, you know, I did all this for you. I disrespected a collector for you and everything like that here. And they were like, yeah, you probably disrespected the collector for everything for me and everything like that here. But um, even though you did that, 
Um, I didn't want you bothering me. I thought you were going to stay over there. So whatever kind of magic that they worked upon, the collector could work on them. And I thought you were going to, like, get them problems. I didn't think you were going to come back and give me no problems. But it backfired and everything, so they started giving each other problems. Okay? So this person in the six cup energy wanting to come back to you. Because they're losing like crazy. And things ain't going nowhere or nothing. With this person. And they love us. And the other people. Either. And the folks that were jealous of you either. These other people like, we ain't got time for you. You know? Yeah. We wanted your attention because we needed you to do stuff for us and everything like that. Here. But... We didn't think that you was just gonna like, you know, come back over here and aggravate us. <laughs> so the other person like just gone. Oh my god! So why is this Empress sitting next to this Queen of Wands? Yeah, because see, as long as this person was with the collector, the other person was on the phone with them talking. Conversating with the person, you know, in the group that was doing the magic with the uh, empress and the mother figure that was jealous of you and these two people. It's weird. This other person rushed in there and it was like, I thought I was going to be able to hook up with you and everything because that's what you were telling me on the phone. But the other person said, No, nah, I just need you to do something for me and everything like that here. So they were planning their energy and playing with this person and everything like that. So this person started dissipating you. And they're like, I can't even go back over there because I treated this other person real bad. This other person won't even talk to me. They said, talk to me. I want to conversate with the collective now. You know, tell them how I messed up and everything. This Mr. or Mrs. can't get right, for real. They really can't get right. So it's almost like I wonder what this person forgive me. I wonder what a collective forgive me. I wonder if they'll even open the door for me after all the stuff I did. You know? They took their chances and looked like they just messed it all up. Messed their whole life up. They have a mess of regrets because it's a time moment. It's a shock to them. They ain't getting what they thought they were going to get at all. So you at peace. You like, no, I ain't got that drama. For real. Now the cut, you getting your wish fulfillment. And somebody walking up to the door and everything like that here. And all they got is a laundry, a book bag or a laundry basket. Round and round, cycle trigger lessons. But they were playing too many games. And this cycle right here taught them a big old lesson. And now they're sitting back looking sorry for themselves. Even a horse looking sorry. Right here. Let me see. Keep going. So this person like, oh, what did I do? Not a pinnacles. This other person talking about they good and they don't want nothing to do with this other person. So this person is by themselves, you know, sitting somewhere and everything at a bar talking about you with a bunch of people. And um, but they sitting with a bunch of people who ain't there for them. Look like to me. So you're gonna have to stay your ground. I did tell you that. I feel like this person want to confront you here because they're really going to be very persistent tell you how they love you and everything. But they must be confused because I feel like you're fine right here. You're looking for new because I feel like this was so low vibrational, this energy here was. And everybody was jealous of you and you know that. And I feel like they just made the wrong choice. You know, they played a game, took a risk, and everything like that. You got to stand your ground on. With this person, I see them and everything like that. Yeah, coming towards you with a little flower in their hand or whatever. I don't know where they got something though. They're looking all sad. They're looking like that right there. Because they need to feed off of you. And huh? Wow, they showed up as the Knight of Swords. So you're looking at this person and everything like that here. And you can see everything. You can see judgment, karma, and everything like that here. Let me see. This person wants you to be more open. 
but I don't feel like it. And yeah, this person looking at you and they say the devil made me do it. Crazy. Hold on, the Knight of Swords. So you know not to open that door. For real. For real. Man or woman. Hopefully they keep that drama over there. Got these folks cutting up on each other. Real bad. So the other person is cutting up on each other. Real bad. I'm for real. What is this? Hold on, let me keep going. Maybe they got drunk. Or maybe they got some additions or something. Conflict. Uh-uh. They better stay with it. Because they spell bad fire to everything and it turned bad. I'm serious. Bad news. This person is bad news. And I feel like because whatever kind of, yeah, they such some kind of conflict energy. The mess stuff up for you and everything like that, but you moved out the way. New beginning in love. This person is worried and everything about that. Here. Uh-uh. So let them cut up on each other now. And let them sit there at the bar talking to their friends and everything about you. They think they can make you be with them because that's where they're happy at. But I feel like it's time you moving on with your daughter in life. You need to if you ain't. Because I see commitment and marriage coming to you and somebody's going to pop the question to you. But what is this? The devil made you do it? The emperor. Yeah, man or woman. Whoever they, you know, whoever they was like, I don't know why somebody would like want to interfere because the person they wanted to interfere, they don't really get along with them either, man or woman. Because there was a bunch of guys sitting there and I feel like they together. And I feel like they went to the bar. Yeah, they ooh, and they went and they went crazy at the bar drinking and stuff. Yeah, and then they turned on each other over here. And then somebody said something that the other person didn't want to hear here at this get together. So this person want to message you and talk to you and everything like that because you're the only person that they got. But you're too busy for them now. And. They wanted to be on, you know how macho and crazy. They wanted to be on macho and crazy, but they was being on macho and crazy with each other. And the person that was being on macho and crazy um, was like a friend, a brother, a, a father figure, or a mother. I don't know, but it's the other folks. So they got on, you know, look, you know, too much to drink. So they started cutting up on each other real big. Oh my goodness. Why you sitting there at peace? They sitting there tripping on each other because whatever spell they did, vent first. Now, man or woman, I'm going to be honest. So they tripping on each other. I feel like the person that did the spell didn't think that the spell would backfire on them. Well, they'll start cutting up on each other and everything like that here. But it did. They thought it was just going to work on you. So while you over there sitting down, chilling, Working, getting a victory. They're going through judgment and karma. With the spell they did, that bet fired here. Just be glad that you out the way. Police could have got called here with this person. Because remember they used graveyard dirt to make them turn on each other. Because they thought it was just going to work on you. Man. So this person here. That, oh my gosh. And it don't look good. Look like they went crazy on each other over here. So man and woman, don't worry about them. Because um because they look like they're going through a time moment real bad. They might call you if they ain't blocked. Or, or if you ain't busy. And a lot of people were sitting around watching these folks. 
and all this confusion that was going on here. Um, did they even tip the waitress? I mean, yeah, just making this person know that they love you and everything like that here. They're walking behind you like they need you, but the communication is bad between y'all. And I feel like you need to stay away from this energy right here that's coming towards you. I really do. Because this person right here was like, they need you. They're having a burden on them. They can't sleep for nothing. They're confused. They don't know what happened. Oh. Okay, so they said the other person would try to show off. So while they were at the bar, the other person was trying to show off and everything. They was getting more attention from from other people, men or women. You know, if, if it's a woman, they was getting more attention from men. If it was a man, they were getting more attention from women and everything. And the person they thought that they was cool with, maybe a family member or whatever, it ain't working with them at all. That might be what they at. But that's it. That's what they at. That's what it is. And so the person was playing fate to them and everything like that, but really don't want to be around them or nothing. They see this person as a burden and everything. So it was so easy to pop off this this um energy that popped off because they was really didn't like each other, but just being around each other. They just didn't want them with you. All these people confused here. They wanted you to have a hard time and everything like that, which backfired on them and not all of them cutting up on each other over there. And then this person could be like at a, a distance, a distance. So now this person feel like they can come back to you, but they did something crazy. You don't want nothing to do with it because you at peace. You really at peace right now. I'm for real. So this person right here, before they even did all of this to you, they was cutting up, so you was like, you know what, just gone. I ain't worried about it. This person gone, so they stay gone. Whatever they at, now they on the roller coaster. Man, this person can't get along with nobody. They just can't. This person is so miserable and everything like that here. And they noticed that folks who were supposed to have their back and everything like that, now they over there fighting with them and everything, but they had peace around you a little bit. They had so much trouble. They look like they had so much trouble. All right, I'll quit the Pentacles Tarot 333. Let me do another one. 